Hello and thanks for watching this video on Acumatica's new SMS notification system. This is brand new in Acumatica 2019 R2. So in this video we're going to talk about how you can extend the ability of business events to instead of sending an email or a push notification or trigger an import scenario to now trigger an SMS notification. Good examples of this might be for example communicating with customers to send messages about their shipment status. But there are a ton of different other examples that you might use to trigger text-based notifications. So let's take a look at this. The first thing is, is we need to set up our SMS provider with Amazon and communicate that back to Acumatica. So let's take a look. Under SMS, we search for SMS providers and we create one, we give it a name. The provider type is Amazon, but you can also use Twilio. And then what you do is you use your access key and secret access key and Amazon region in order to link this up with your Amazon service. Let's take a look at the AWS service. It's pretty simple. So if we go to Amazon and to our console and we search for SMS, you can see there's a simple notification service. They call it SNS, trying to be different. And we go under subscriptions and we create a new one. So here's the brand new one with an endpoint. I use my phone number here. And we simply create this. There's not much to put in here, but you can select the existing ARN that you have with AWS. You select the protocol, in this case, SMS, and then you create it. Now what you do is you need to get your security set up. So under services, you go to the IAM, and you go into users and add a brand new user. So let's say for example, uh, test Acumatica. You'll give it programmatic access so that you can get the API keys, secret access keys and stuff. You don't necessarily need management console access, that's through the web. We'll go into permissions, we'll make it an admin. However, these permissions can be very, very specific to the service that you're looking for. So in Amazon, if you Google that and you look at the resource docs, you can create a permission group that simply is available for SMS only. But in this case, to make it easy, I made it an admin. We can give it a tag here. This is user, this will be called user, and user for AWS security. We'll review it, and then we'll create it. Now, when we create this user, AWS gives us the access key, and if we click here, we can see the secret access key. Okay, so now let's go back to Acumatica. We come in here, we fill in the access key, the secret access key, and the AWS region, which you can get from your AWS console. And then just to make sure it works, we can send a test message. Make sure that you add plus one, and then the phone number. And we'll just put a hello message. Hello AWS. Now if we go over to my phone, and simply look here, and then we go click OK here, and go back, you can see that I have my hello AWS message. Now let's go into the business event and set that up. Let's take a look at the one I created. So this is going to be triggered by a record change. There's two options of the business events. One of them is you can run it on a schedule. This one's a trigger based event, which as soon as the record value changes, it'll create the event. Now our screen name is always a generic inquiry. When you do a lookup here, these are generic inquiries to the system. 
So you can either use an existing generic inquiry and monitor it, and anytime a record changes, this event will fire, or you can create a new generic inquiry with all the fields that you want and have that get monitored. Now in 2019 R1, we have the ability to group by records. This is useful in a scenario where you want to create an array, maybe a list of items. Maybe you're sending a notification to a customer to show all of the items that are shipping. In that scenario, you don't want to create a separate notification for each shipment or package, that is. Instead, you want to group them all together and then list everything inside. So in that case, you would use for group of records. In this case, we're going to use for each record. We'll give it a description. And this is pretty simple trigger. We're just going to say that as soon as a new record exists, send a notification. But you have the ability to say, well, if this field has changed, or if there's a new value, or if, if the value is increased or decreased, you can do that kind of stuff. So that's good. Now we're going to create our subscriber. So down here we say create subscriber is mobile SMS. Let's take a look at it. And the screen name automatically comes up. The description you fill in. The delivery method is SMS. Over here, when you do a lookup, Acumatica only shows the screen information. So you may ask, well, how did I get this field? Well, I simply pasted it. And what I did is I went down here to the message body. And this is the body of the message that's going to go out to the recipient. I clicked insert data field. And this shows all of the different fields, all the different tables and fields that are available from your generic inquiry. So when you click here and you look, for example, SO shipment contact, I had to join this table. I click on phone and I got this and I simply copied and pasted it up here. So that will work even though the lookup only shows a few static fields. Now the from is this AWS SMS. That's from the SMS provider we created here. So then we'll put a quick message in here saying, hey customer, your package is being processed. So simply enough, I'm not going to make any changes to this, but I'm going to go back to the business event. Simply enough, as soon as a new shipment record is inserted, created into the generic inquiry, we're going to send out a notification. Because for the most part, when a new shipment's created, it means that you are processing a shipment. Might not be the example for everybody out there, but it's the example that we're going to use here. So this is created now. Now, let's take a sales order. As you may recall, we're using the shipment contact. So we're going to use this phone number. I changed it here because Precision Photos has a different number. And we'll create our shipment. Now, if I go back to my phone, and before I do, I'll look at the shipment settings. Notice again, the phone number came over. If I go to business event history and refresh, you can see the SO shipping event occurred. And if I open up my phone here, you can now see this new notification got sent just now. So very, very helpful now to be able to communicate with customers using text notification, all baked into Acumatica, at least the integration is. And you can use AWS's notification service, or you can use Twilio. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video on Acumatica's SMS notification system, all baked in with the business event system. If you have any questions, as usual, Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.